Today, I'm going to show you how I created a custom GPT for SEO. And basically, you can build your own free AI SEO tools using ChatGPT. It's really powerful. This is one I created in about 10 minutes. You can see it's already published. It's already live. I'm going to share the link with you. I'm going to show you exactly how I built it and how you can do the same and how you can use this tool if you want to as well. And this is really exciting because the feature of building out your own custom GPTs just came out this week. And that means you don't need to pay for using the API on open AI assistance. You can just go straight into chat GPT, explore, create a GPT and build your own bot without any code at all. It's absolutely mind blowing, but also terrifying at the same time. And I'll show you why in a second. And you will basically learn how to create your own AI SEO tools using chat GPT, how to publish them. And one of the most exciting things about this is that in the coming months, you will also be able to earn money based on how many people are using your GPT. So if you want to make money as well, then this is a really powerful way to do that. And you can basically create bots like this, only takes 10 minutes, put them in the GPC store, and then make money if people use them. It's absolutely crazy. So let's get straight into it. Let's go. Let's keep up this week. We've had so many updates, but there's a crazy one that's just come to ChatGPT4, which is right here in the custom bot section. So you just go to explore over here. And then from here, you can actually create a GPT. Now I've been testing and playing around with something right here. I'm just going to delete that because it's not quite ready, but this is absolutely mind blowing. I'm very excited to use it. Gia gave me the heads up and thank you very much for that because this is going to be awesome. I'm so excited to try this. So basically we're going to create a GPT right here. This is basically like creating our own app using AI that we can just come back to. We can share with other people. I'm going to create an app today and share it with you. And it is so easy to use this. It's scary. So basically you can create your own tools within chat GPT, but, and you can see some of the examples down here, but we're going to create one specifically for SEO, right? So I'll move my head over there. Now to create this GPT, this custom bot, you can have a conversation with GPT builder, or you can just go to configure over here and we could say, right, SEO outline creator. Then you can put in a description for your box. So you can say, right, uh, creates keyword optimized outlines for your articles. Now here's something that I'm really excited to show you is that this actually has web browsing built in, right? So it's got the Dali image generation. It's got code interpreter set up. It's got web browsing set up. You can even link it to APIs down here. So you can code in an API if you go to add actions. I'm not technical, so I'm not going to do that, but I'm so excited. This is just absolutely crazy. So what we can do here is I've got this prompt that I've used previously for creating content outlines. You can see right here. So based on the user's keyword, do this. We'll change that to using web browsing, create an outline for an article that will be 2000 words on whatever keyword you want, include relevant headings, keyword density high, et cetera, blah, 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 blah. And then it's got basically everything you need for a good content outline. So if I plug that into the instructions right here, every time someone gives this bot a keyword, it will generate a content outline and it's basically a tool that you can come back to, you know, rather than paying for fancy tools or rather than paying for phrase IO, whatever you want. So now in the conversation starter section, we can say, what keyword do you want to rank for? What keyword do you want an outline for? And that's basically it. Now you'll see there's a option to add an image for your bot, right? Now you can upload an image if you want, you can upload a photo or you can just go to Dali3 like so. And it will just generate an image for you using AI. So you don't even have to upload an image. Now I haven't tested this. So I don't know if it's hundred percent perfect, but it's just incredibly easy. That took me a couple of minutes to set up. And this kind of reminds me of like when the app store first launched for Apple, except that instead of coding, you can create your own app instantly using AI. And it's incredibly easy. So you can see it's generated the icon for our chatbot right here. And now, if I put my keyword in, so let's say, why do birds wiggle? Let's see what it comes back with. I think it's going to be a little bit slow because, but you can see it's browsing Bing, it's searching for my keyword, it's visiting all these websites and scraping the data, but it's not perfect as you can see. So it's not generating an outline straight away. So we need to fix that. So I'm going to try this. I've changed the instructions slightly. Let's see, right. So I've put in keyword, why do birds wiggle? It's searching for the keyword right there. Let's see if it actually creates an outline this time. It's also looking at the people also ask section, as you can see right here. And this is actually not going to be scraping Google. It's going to be scraping Bing. It's also looking for FAQs. Now I think because it's using Bing instead of Google, 
It's not going to find the FAQ section, but you can see that it's generating the outline as you can see. So it's given us the outline in terms of what to cover, how many words to write for each section, the subheadings. It's got some references as well to other articles. It's given us the LSI and the NLP keywords. So these are the keywords that we can include inside our content to make it more relevant. But the external link section is not very good there. So maybe we can tweak that as well. So I'm going to tweak that in the outline and let's see as well. The FAQ section I need to change because it's not using Google, it's using Bing. There we go. So I'm going to say include FAQs in the outline too with relevant questions. And I'm also going to say cover the most relevant headings at the top. I'm not going to split the outline into part one and part two. I don't think that's necessary. And also maybe we want to include three relevant YouTube URLs to embed as well. There we go. And then I've added a couple of conversation starters, right? So here you can click what keyword you want an outline for, and then it will prompt you to add the keyword. And then once you've got the outline, you can say, write part one of the article. You wouldn't write both parts at the same time, simply because ChatGPT wouldn't give you the word count that you need. So let's try that. We're going to say, what keyword do you want an outline? I'll just click on that and see what it does. And that will say, please provide me with the keyword you would like to create a content outline for, and I can assist you with that. So now we're going to say, right, can cats eat bananas? The, and the potential I see with this is that basically you can build your own custom SEO tools inside ChatGPT so that you not only do the research, you not only create your content outlines inside there, but also you could do your content editing with the same bot or another tool. You could create your content inside ChatGPT and it's just really, really powerful. And all someone needs to do is literally give ChatGPT the outline and that's it. ChatGPT will do everything else for you. So it's basically a one-click tool for generating keyword optimized content based on what your competitors are doing because it's enabled web browsing. And also when we're actually creating the content using ChatGPT, it can embed images using DALI image generation as well. So it's hard to keep up with all the changes that are going on right now when it comes to ChatGPT, but this is exciting for sure. And what you can actually do is just go through a document like this, my top 50 prompts, and you can create a GPT for top four maps or keyword research or content optimization or even YouTube prompts. You could even have a bot that just generates SEO tools using bookmarklets directly for you. So absolutely mind blowing what you can do. Quite scary as well, because at this point you can automate everything and you can just build it out yourself in a couple of minutes using custom GPTs, but it's exciting as well at the same time. And now it's included the URLs as well for further reading. The YouTube URLs bit didn't work, I'll be honest with you, but still exciting. Now, what I'm going to do is because ChatGPT is creating nice outlines, as you can see, and it's finding the external links to add, it's adding FAQs, it's finding LSI and NLP keywords, etc. We can actually train ChatGPT inside the custom instructions to write the article. So what I'm going to do is I'll put in the instructions. If the user asks you to write the article, do this, write the article based on the outline, format with markdown, italic the most important parts, use bullet points link out within the second and third paragraph using external links, include LSI keywords inside the content. Now we can actually train ChatGPT on not just how to create the content outline, but how to write the article as well, if the user asks it to, right? So we say write the article based on the outline, format with markdown, italic the most important parts, use bullet points, include LSI keywords within the content, include images using DALI, and then I've added a bunch of other custom instructions. I don't know if this is gonna work. It might be overwhelming for the AI, but we can give it a whirl. So let's try going from the start again. I'll quickly generate the outline and then I'll come back and I'll show you whether it generates the content properly or not. So we'll create an article on our SEO's content goblins. If you know, you know, let's see what it does. Just one thing to bear in mind, if you do try using this tool and I will share it with you, make sure you ask it to create an outline on the keyword because otherwise what it would do is actually just answer the question, which is what we don't want. One thing that surprised me as well is like how fast this is compared to using chat GPT previously. So that's quite interesting. Now we're going to say, write the article and you can see it said, right, let's proceed to writing the article based on the outline provided. And I'll just say, just use these internal links and I've given it some internal links like that, but basically I've trained it so that if you do want to upload a file with internal links, you can just upload it right here and, and then insert all your internal links, or you can just upload basically all the URLs from your sitemap and it can use that within the content. Hopefully, let's see. It's still in beta, so it's not perfect. I'm not saying like this is better than every tool out there. This is just something that I'm experimenting with. But you can see basically it's used a short code, 
So let's have a look at the content quality. It's got the short code for the table of contents there. It's got the title right there. And then you've got the introduction, which is a bit weird. Like the table of contents should be after the introduction, but the title is right. So SEO misunderstood art or the work of content goblins. I actually really like the writing style. Like, you know, our SEOs, the savvy wizards of the web or the infamous content goblins lurking in the digital shadows. Like that's better than I could write. I used to be a sales copywriter and even I'm not going to come up with that unless I'm sat behind a keyboard for an hour. And then it's got the key takeaways with bullet points. And bear in mind, all I asked it to do was just use the internal links and write the article. That was it. And it's done everything else for me. So it's got the H2s with some really interesting content. It's got some external links pointing to me. It's got the FAQs inside the content. And then it's got the conclusion. The only thing that I don't like is... And let's have a look how long the output is. So it's only 500 words, which is not a massive amount. What you might want to do is say to chat GPT, if you're using this bot, okay, generate article part one and then generate article part two. But you can see the power of this. Like the content is good. It's nicely formatted. You've got some FAQs in there. You've got all the main headings. You've got the key takeaways, short code for the table of contents, nice little title. The content itself is formatted. So you can see like, for example, the main keyword content goblins is in italic right there. And then the style of the content is quite entertaining, right? So it's probably better than most mediocre writers I'm going to find out there if I'm using Upwork or something like that. And all it requires is one or two prompts. So very, very interesting. Building SEO tools on ChatGPT has so much potential and it's probably easier than most tools I've used because I just have to click once or twice. That's it. It's designed for efficiency. So I'm going to hit save like that. And if you do want access, I'm going to hit confirm and there you go. SEO content outline creator is published. You've seen me build it. That was really, really easy. It's absolutely not perfect. I mean, I have barely tested that, but it works and I think it should be available now. So let me see if I take the URL like so, and then we open that up in a new incognito mode. Let's see what happens. So it should be shareable. I believe that was incredibly easy, but also scary because it didn't require any coding or anything like that. So I'm going to share that with you. Link will be in the comments if you want to check it out. And it's absolutely not perfect, but this is just for fun. And now you can see the potential of it. So just to give you a bit more context, Sam Altman actually created a custom GPT in about four minutes on the stage the other night when he was announcing these updates. This is a really good Twitter thread, by the way, by Linus. And um, basically these GPTs have so much potential. So for example, if you check out this tweet by Paulius, Instead of building out your own tool using the API, you can just build out a custom GPT on the GPT store, like I've shown you today. You know, there's over 180 million users on ChatGPT. And Paulius talks about his idea to basically build out 100 GPTs, ship them fast, make some profit. You know, normally it would take like four weeks to make a Shopify app. Now it takes 12 minutes with GPT. And the possibilities of what you can build with a custom GPT is really mind blowing. That's the thing. Now, what I would say is this is obviously a bit of a bubble right now. I think that AI is trending and people are getting carried away with the potential of it or how much money you can make and stuff like that. So I don't expect this GPT that I've made to make anything today. It's just for fun. And I'm not saying that you're going to make a massive amount of money. Probably the GPT that I've made won't make anything, but I'd be really interested to see what else everyone else comes up with. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to my free chat GPT SEO course, you can get that link is in the comments. And it just comes with loads of tutorials and videos and scripts and prompts, etc., to learn how to use ChatGPT and AI for SEO. If you do want to book in a call about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales to your website, then feel free to book in a call. Links in the comments as well. And you can basically book out a free SEO strategy session. And if you want to talk to us about building you a link building campaign that predictably and consistently delivers you more backlinks, traffic, and sales to your website, feel free to book that in. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.